Hello, my name is Julie and I am the teen librarian at the Central Branch Library and today I am going to show you how to make a straw flyer. So if you're wondering what a straw flyer is, it is this. It is made with cardstock and some straws and it's kind of like a paper airplane but a little fancier with the straws. Um, so if you uh, picked up the packet from the library, you should have some straws and some cardstock in it already for you. Cardstock should look like this. Your straws may look like this, or they may not be the bendy kind, and we'll get to that later. I'll show you how to do it with either one. And what you need to supply at home, a ruler, a pencil, some scissors, and some tape. And that's all you will need. So let's get started. So first we're going to start with the cardstock here and what we need is we need two rectangles, one 10 inches long by one inch and another one inch long by five inches. So I'm going to show you the easiest way to mark this out on your paper so that you don't have to make so many cuts. So if you line up that zero mark right there with the corner of the paper and then all the way down to the end here. You can put a little mark for 10 inches. And I'm gonna do sign up, line up that zero mark here. And turn the paper so it'll be a little easier. And I'm gonna mark the one inch here and the one inch, or rather the two inch right there, because we need two strips. And then right on the opposite side again, and I'm gonna actually put it up with the two right here. Mark one inch, two inches. Take my ruler and I'm gonna connect the dots for the one inch and the one inch, my little hash marks that I made. And draw a line and you can go all the way across. And for the second one, I'm gonna do the same thing. Line up the little hash marks with your straight edge. All right, and I've made that little 10 inch mark. I'm gonna line up this straight edge with this second, or rather the first line that we drew. And I'm gonna make a little 10 inch mark, or a mark at the 10 inch point right there. And then for, actually on that same line, I shouldn't have moved it, line it up again. And I'm going to make a mark at the five inches because our next one just needs to be five inches long. Line it up with that second line and five inches. And just like we did on the other side, we're going to line up those hash marks. And don't worry if you're not right on the dot exact. If you're off by tiny bit, it won't make it much of a difference. And you have extra paper, so if you screw that up, don't worry, you can do it again. All right, so we're gonna grab our scissors and we're gonna cut out the first strip. So the reason we are using cardstock is because it adds a little weight and it's a little sturdier. If you do it with paper, you can try it, but you'll see that the straws kind of warp the paper a little bit. So there's our 10 by one inch piece. And so the fun thing about this project too, is that after you make the first one, you can kind of see how it flies. You can check it out and you can adapt it and you can kind of make modifications like you do with your paper airplanes. And there, there's your five inch strip. I'm gonna put that, place that to the side. All right, we're pretty much done with the scissors for now. So we're gonna take the big strip the 10 by one inch strip, and we're gonna fold it back on itself to make a little loop, like, or rather a big loop, because it's our big loop. Make it like that, and you can grab your tape. 
small piece. And just tape it down. So one thing I do like to do, and this is optional again, like you can modify and play with this, so I like to take a second piece of tape and put it in the inside. It's a little trick that I have. I'll show you why later. And then you take your second strip, your five by one inch strip, and the same thing. Bring those two short ends together. Grab a piece of tape. And tape it together. And just for a little reinforcement, put a small piece inside. And the small piece inside is optional, especially on the small loop. All right. All right, so in your packet, or if you're doing this from home and supplying yourself with the supplies of cardstock and straws, straws kind of come in two varieties here that I'm going to show you. One is just a plain straight straw, and the other is a bendy straw. You kind of want four of the same, and I'm going to show you what to do with bendy straw. It's pretty much the same thing. If you get a straight straw, you can make kind of a longer one. You see, we, we used a shorter one here, so the straws would be a little longer if you use the straight straw, and you can use the whole thing. If you want to trim them, you can trim them, but you want them all the same length, so line them up like that, and you can trim them. So, but you don't have to trim them. That's actually another way that you can kind of modify it. So I'm gonna show you what to do if you got the bendy straws and we'll make it out of the bendy straws. So what you do is, we don't need the bendy part, and that's probably gonna affect the aerodynamics of it, so we're just gonna clip them off. So you put, you're gonna clip off the short section, and we're gonna use this long piece right here. So just a little clip, easy enough to do. trying to get a little close to that bendy piece so you can get a good length out of that long piece. All right, so I have my four straws here. And you can do this, so they're a little bit off, but not by much. I could probably make it like this, no problem, but I'm gonna trim that one right there because it's a little bigger. All right. All right, so we need our tape again. So four straws, big ring. So what we're gonna do is grab one of our straws and a small bit of tape. And I'm gonna put it inside the ring. And I'm gonna actually start with that place where I put the tape because the first one's usually the hardest because you're doing it for the first time. So you're gonna actually tape that straw down inside the ring. And the reason I'm taping over the tape is it's easier to pull it off if necessary right there and you won't mess up your paper. But don't worry, if you mess up the paper with the cardstock, you can do it again because you have enough cardstock to easily do two, maybe three more if you can find some drinking straws. All right, so. I think I did that one all right. In fact, actually, I'm gonna redo that one because I had the tape kind of hanging out there. Let me do that again. And don't be afraid to redo it. Just tape straws and paper. All right. Then we're gonna grab our second straw and we're gonna put it, tape it also to the inside of the ring, but we wanna go directly across. So on the opposite side of the ring. So I'm gonna turn it around so it's easier for me to tape this. So this is the easy part right here. You want them kind of sticking straight up. So if you, if you have it going a little crooked, you can kind of adjust that. All right, so now we have two that are directly across from one another. And grab another one. 
And since we want four equal distance apart, we're going to go in between. I'm going to go on this side so I can see it. In between the two you already taped. And if it helps to pick it up, you might at this point. All right, that one's actually a little crooked. So I'm gonna try that one again. There we go. And the final one, same thing. midway between the two first ones you put in there. And it's really however you can get that tape in there. All right, so it should make kind of a circle even though mine looks to be a little bit of a square. All right, so now comes the little ring. I'm gonna take a piece of tape and you're gonna tape one of your straws to the outside of this little ring. And again, same thing. You want to kind of line this up so it's even. I'm going to try to line up the straw so it's not going terribly far out of whack or past the edge of the ring. And that one did not line up so well. So as simple as this is, it sometimes requires you to kind of redo it a little bit. Don't worry if you use a little bit of tape. And I will try again. I'm going to try it on this side. All right. And don't worry, if, if the first one doesn't go right, once you get the second one on, sometimes that'll go a little better. All right, and the same thing that we did on the bottom where we did one and then we did the one opposite it, that's gonna be the easiest way to do it because you, again, want the straws to be hitting that ring on opposite sides. All right. All right, for this last one, you're gonna take these last two, pull them in, Grab a piece of tape, so we're going to start with this one. And just tape it like that. And if your sh if your tape comes up a little short, you can always put another piece of tape over it. And the other one about midway in as well. And if it doesn't end up midway and ends up a little wonky, you can always take the tape off, redo it. All right. And so you have your little flyer. And so to throw it, you don't want to throw it like a paper airplane because we tend to throw in an arc like that and it's just going to go and hit the ground. And to get it to go further, you want to grab it and hold it right here near the one of the straws near the small ring. And you're going to kind of push it forward like you're throwing a dart and you can kind of move your body forward too. And I'm going to show you that in a moment.